rent seeking associated with that, but small holder on farm irrigation so that the farmer can have uh, predictability about their production system. He also talked about financing infrastructure. We can't do this without money. The government has to invest 10% as we committed on Malabo. We also talked about the private sector has to invest. So the lending right now, for example, in Kenya, but in most African countries, into the agriculture sector is at 3%, which is very low considering the contribution of agriculture to the economy. So already 2004, and also during the Malabo commitments in 2013, we were talking about investing 10%. And countries like Ethiopia, which committed the 10%, they actually saw the growth. The Ethiopia of the 1980s is not the Ethiopia of today because they are the right investment. And Kofi Annan also talked about investing in research and development and crop improvement. And the Malabo commitments again tasked countries to invest at least 1% of the agriculture part of the GDP into research development. Some countries have done that, and the results are there. Because in the era of climate change, with all the pests, with all the dynamics about soil, with all the dynamics about weather, you need crops that are able to, 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 to adapt to 